How's it going everybody? Shockwave984 here and today is going to be another addition to our Batman animated series collection. And this one, the last uh, regular uh, like cartoon show and TV show uh, video I did was on uh, TAS. Uh, check that out if you can. Awesome show. And this one is going to be on its successor, Batman Beyond. So with that, let's go ahead and get started. And uh, this is going to be on two editions of the uh, show. So one on DVD, one on Blu-ray. So first up we have, now it is still raining and stuff. So I do have my lamp on. So just uh, hopefully you guys can make it out. I'm going to be sure and try and do that. Here is Batman Beyond, the complete series. This is the, uh, I guess, limited or collector's edition for it. This one I just happened to find used. This is long out of print, uh, but luckily it did get a re-release on Blu-ray and uh, there was another DVD edition as well. So yeah, luckily the series finally got, uh, you know, a re-release and stuff. So really awesome show. And then here is the back and there you see our uh, new lead, uh, Terry McGinnis as the Dark Knight. And there you see, it looks like Gotham in the back. And this is more of a futuristic version of Batman. This is a uh, real nice slipcover. So this is years after uh, TAS. Uh, you still do have Bruce Wayne around. And here is the front cover. This was just underneath the slipcover. And here is the back. You see it without Batman. And then this just opens up. You get this really nice uh, red uh, shiny uh, bat symbol or part of it. And you also get this cool booklet. So I'll go ahead and take this out. And let's see. So Batman Beyond. So yes, this takes place uh, years later. Uh, Gotham, which already looked kind of futuristic, uh, looks even more like that. Like it's just advanced even more. Uh, you know, you have like floating cars and stuff, if I remember correctly. Um, yeah, and then you also have just more of a futuristic type of look. There you see some of it. Here's like a little uh, letter from writer, a story writer and uh, editor. And you have a kid named uh, Terry McGinnis. And here are all the episodes. So let's see, let it clear. Okay, this will tell you what's on each disc. And it is a total of 52 episodes on across, uh, oh, what is it, three seasons? Yeah, three seasons. Sorry about that, trying to get it to clear. All right, and you also get some really cool documentaries. You get Tomorrow Night, The Batman Reborn, Gotham, City of the Future, The High Tech Hero, because he has a lot of new, like, or more high tech gadgets. And you get a documentary, Secret Origin, the story of DC Comics. I believe that's featured on other DC stuff. And here you have weapons and gadgets all sorts of new stuff uh you have uh here is bruce himself and i believe he is still voiced by kevin conroy uh the original voice actor from tas and it is just awesome to hear him as batman again uh it was just really cool i remember when this was being promoted highly being promoted <laughs> before its release and it was just amazing and these are some of his uh, villains you have a guy named blight ink uh shriek I believe it uses sound and you have spellbinder real mysterious and there you see him some of them in action one kind of glows in the dark <laughs> and uh yeah just an overall really cool show uh so the story goes is that uh, you have Terry McGinnis, and here's the back of the book. And or first off, you start out with uh, Batman, uh, Bruce Wayne, uh, fighting, still doing his thing. 
his suit is more uh, like he doesn't have a cape. It's uh, he just kind of runs around with like a almost like a jacket, but it, he's wearing the bat suit and stuff. Like he still has a mask and stuff like that. Um, I believe he still has gadgets. And but what you start to notice is that age is is creeping up on him. And here's the DVD set here. There is a re-release where it's a set like this. I believe it's like a black uh, case and uh, it's just all uh, uh, DVDs. So that's one new release as far as DVD goes. I believe that's still available. But be careful with pricing on that because I found that in store and it was pretty high. Uh, I think like 40 bucks or something like that. Uh, kind of. Well, I think that's when it was new. So it might be a little bit lower now. Uh, unless it's out of print. So I don't think it is. So uh, here are all the uh, discs. So there are separate DVD sets that you can get. Um, so this is all of them just put together. So it's like the Young, or not Young Justice, uh, it's like the Justice League DVD set in the, the separate cases, just all the regular separate sets put together. So here is season one, which is across two discs. Season two, which is across four discs. And season three, which has two. And here's your bonus disc. It has like all the featurettes and things like that. It's a really cool, re very nice set. And uh, yeah, so age is creeping up on the Bruce. Um, you start to notice he's having like a problem, I believe, with his heart. Um, he's fighting these villains, but then, uh, you know, he starts to collapse like he's having a problem. He has to take meds. Uh, pretty much it's, it's just an aging Batman. And he eventually encounters this kid named uh, Terry McGinnis, who I believe is in college. It looks like they're, they're older. I want to say it's college. It might be like maybe just getting out of high school also. But uh, he encounters like these bullies or like this gang uh, who are doing like some bad stuff. And he eventually gets chased to Wayne Manor. And Bruce just comes out and says, you know, get off my property. He's turning into like this bitter old man. You find out that I think he sold his company. Kind of like he's not the main guy really anymore. He's still around. Uh, but uh, yeah, he's kind of just isolated himself in his manner. Uh, but, uh, you know, he beats up all the villains with his cane <laughs> or all the uh, gang members and stuff. And uh, but then, you know, he has a problem. He's got his dog there. Uh, and, uh, you know, he, Terry helps him inside so he can get his meds. And then, uh, you know, some other things happen or something big happens to Terry's. Uh, I'm sorry, I meant to put this away. <laughs> I'm just kind of rambling. Uh, but uh, something happens to one of Terry's his parents. So here's the limited set. So real quick, um, if you do find this, be careful of pricing. This luckily was not very high. Uh, this was only, I think, 32 with tax. Uh, it was just under 30 and then tax kind of pushed it over. But, uh, yeah, yeah, so if you do find this, just be careful. There is a regular uh, Batman TAS set, which is like this. Uh, but that one was like 100 over $100. So just be aware because that one is older, too. That was another big set. Um, and I think it's kind of got the same kind of contents. There's like a booklet and stuff, or it might have a couple extra things. Uh, but I did find it, but the discs were pretty beat up. So yeah, just be aware of that. And here is, oh, so I'll go ahead and get to you. So here is the Blu-ray set, uh, Blu-ray and digital. This came out towards the end of last year. And this is the Deluxe Limited Edition. So yes, it's like TAS. You have a regular... Uh, standard set which I believe is out now so you can get a regular uh, blu-ray set and uh, this one or well this one could be out of print now I think like the TAS so just be aware and this is when they're celebrating the 80 years of Batman so yeah something pretty bad happens to one of Terry's his parents and he pretty much just goes to Bruce for help or um, you know they encounter each other again and then it just goes on from there. Uh, they team up, and here is a limited edition number. So I have 44,482 out of 50,000. 
So yes, unfortunately, I believe this might be out of print now. So yeah, just be aware. Experience Batman Beyond like never before. Absolutely. So with this, you get a special Funko Pop. And it's a regular size one. It's not a, uh, you know, one of the smaller ones. Or pocket pops. You also get lenticular cards, just like TAS. And this one, instead of a booklet where the discs are in sleeves, you get a nice, or excuse me, nice digi pack. But just be aware, you know, eventually they do wear out, kind of fall apart. And here's the story details here. So yeah, something bad happens to Terry, or uh, you know, a member of his family. All 52 episodes, and you follow him and Bruce as they team up. He gets the new bat suit and. Uh, Go on from there. So this is a six uh, disc set, and you get a uh, you get the movie uh, Return of the Joker, the original uncut version, because there is like an edited one. Um, you also have new uh, featurettes celebrating the Dark Knight 80 years, Nostalgic Tomorrow, a Batman Gathering, Night Immortal. There's an 80 year symbol right there and let's go ahead and open this up and yeah the story uh, once you once he becomes like the new Batman it is just really good first of all the story as to how you know they meet him and Bruce uh, you know their chemistry together it's really cool <laughs> especially hearing Bruce like you know like get off my lawn and kind of he's kind of turned into that <laughs> bitter old dude but uh, it's really cool the way they team up and stuff. So this is part of the Pop Heroes, number 287. And it's in this really nice black and gold kind of look. It is really cool. And there he is. Look at me and his hat. That's kind of a look that he has throughout the series. You know, he gets real angry. <laughs> and uh, here is the front of it. And on the back, there, there's like a gold sheet in the back that kind of makes it stand out. It's got this, it's not really black. It's more like a chrome, real dark chrome color. And he does have his belt and the bat symbol. Looks real nice. I would take it out, um, but the, uh, the casing, yeah, it's kind of funky getting it back in there. <laughs> so, funky, Funko Pop, okay. Yeah, yeah, it's terrible. <laughs> so, uh... All right, so here are the cards. This I don't think you can get by itself. I think you have to get the box set, um, if anyone's wondering, so. All right, so here are the cards. So yeah, the series of generals is very good. Uh, writing is still awesome. You also have uh, a very nice set of villains, like uh, when I was showing the booklet, um, uh, you know, some of which it's kind of like Batman where he accidentally creates some. <laughs> Hopefully you guys can see that move. And you get some artwork in the back. Um, and then some, you know, just kind of come out of nowhere. And here's a very big hint or uh, homage to a certain villain. Yeah, there's more like a, um, like a Joker kind of gang in this. Like, you know, they kind of worship what the Joker did and they're, you know it's like they're it's almost if like they're bringing him back <laughs> kind of like they're kind of keeping the spirit of the Joker alive and here is the back and here is the last one so this one you get four let's see if we can get a better look all right so yeah real nice he's got these uh yeah like electrified batarangs He's got uh, even more grappling uh, type of guns. You know, his suit has jets. He's got these wings. Uh, yeah, he's got like rocket boots. <laughs> uh, you know, his suit is really cool. I really like the design that they went with. Um, it's more like he's not so restricted, you know, maybe with the cape and stuff. But then again, Bruce was just really cool as a fighter and stuff where the cape didn't bother him at all. <laughs> but uh, it's kind of like uh, The Incredibles where... Uh, Edna says to, uh, to, uh, uh, oh my gosh, uh, Mr. Incredible say no capes, <laughs> but, uh, it works for what it is. It is really cool. And then here is the Blu-ray, uh, digipack itself. 
and you get this really nice rainbow effect all over the box set and uh, this itself or the big box and this and then there he is in the back that's kind of a weird shot <laughs> like ah <clears throat> excuse me so this just comes out just like that and then here is the front of it once again nice and shiny now as far as how it looks uh, DVD uh, you know looks fine the DVDs are pretty older now uh, but overall still looks good and then as far as the blu-ray edition goes I'll, uh, I'll show this first this looks real nice how they're facing off that is cool um, you also get a booklet which tells you what's on uh, each disc all the extras and things like that so this just opens up on one side and on the other and this is like the inside of pretty much like the bat mobile or bat uh, plane pretty much uh, it's got this it's like all black and you got all these big red lights going everywhere it looks pretty cool so the disc you have disc one which is season one you have season two which is for uh, disc two that's part one of season two there's part two of season two and then here is disc four which has all of season three and then you have uh, disc five which is special features and I'll move these down that way you guys can see the other characters are shown there and then on the bottom you do have the movie Return of the Joker which is an amazing film really cool I'll talk about that in a second and yeah and on the back I'll show you guys what it looks like. I'll just do a cross shot right here. There you go. Get the lamp light out. Real nice set. And then here is the booklet. And yeah, it gives you all the info. This booklet reminds you of like the ones that come with the uh, like the DC live action shows, which we do have. Do have a bunch of them. I'll uh, get to those uh, eventually because we do have quite a lot of it. I think I think I have almost all of them. Almost. I believe that's like a new Mr. Freeze, I think, or uh, I believe it's the original. Yeah. You get like homages and stuff to like original villains and other things. Like hey, I recognize that. You know, from TAS, which is really cool. I think that is a good thing that they did. And all right, so let's slide that back in. And there it is. So that does it for all of Batman Beyond, the DVD uh, set that we have, and the uh, Blu-ray. So let me put these all back in their boxes. Okay, so the Blu-ray set just slides in like that, and then the Funko Pop just goes right in. And one thing you might notice is a wider box than the TAS one. Yeah, it's much bigger. I think to accommodate, you know, the Funko Pop and stuff. So, but yeah. And let's go ahead and crank down. Bring out the Bleeds. Uh, I want to say it's like collector's edition. Before we on. All right. And let's go ahead and talk about real quick the movie, which is right here, Return of the Joker both on DVD and Blu-ray separately. So these you can still get for, um, they're not real expensive, I think they're pretty cheap. This one I had uh, long before getting any of these, also had this before uh, picking up these as well. So full length movie, DVD version. And yes, you do have the great Mark Hamill playing the Joker again and boy this movie was awesome it was really cool especially the way he comes back when you find out how and what happened to him you're like wait that's what happened to him <laughs> that's how he comes back but it's just so fun and seeing Bruce's look or excuse me Bruce's look on his face when he comes back is priceless he's just like you're alive <laughs> or you're back how what like what happened <laughs> and then you find out and it's pretty interesting so with that like the video if you do subscribe if you like have you seen any of batman beyond feel free to let me know in the comments below 
and I'll see you guys next time.